Well, hey there, happy Saturday. I am Cecilia Morris and I have a question for you. What are you worth? Do you know what you are worth? And if you do, drop it in the comments, what you think you are worth. Now, I don't mean in dollars, I mean in value. How do you value yourself? And this is critical in business because if you don't consider yourself worthy, no one else will either. And that's why you're gonna hear a lot more no's than yeses in your business. So before we get into the nitty gritty of what I have to share today, I want to make sure you can hear me. Yep. And if you don't know me, my name is Cecilia Morris and I go by the, I just hello to myself. I'm so crazy. I go by the tagline. I'm your engineer by education and your home business owner by desire. And my goal, my dream and my wish for you is that I can share the knowledge and the skills, the tools, the tactics and strategies that I have learned while building my own business online with you. Um, so that way you can avoid some of the pitfalls and the mistakes that I made along the way. So I just want to get this shared in a couple of groups and then we'll go ahead and get this started. Once again, today's question is, what are you worth? And once again, I don't mean dollars, but you may have a dollar amount. Are you worth $30 an hour, $40 an hour, $100 an hour? What are you worth? If you have an, and what are your, what are you worth in terms of value? Um, you know, for instance, <laughs> I can think about my dad. In my case, I'm worth everything to him. I am his world and he is mine. So we are worth everything to each other. But in business, what are you worth? So let me get this shared in a couple more places and I'll go ahead and get started with my definition of what um, you're worth. All right, so for those who don't know me, once again, I'm Cecilia Morris. I go by the tagline, engineer by education, home business owner by desire. If you have never watched me before, give me a five in the comments. If you have seen me before, give me a fist bump or a wave. And also, if you are watching me live, go ahead. Hi, Kim, thanks for jumping in. Um, yep, well, I've already said hi to Kim, so she's on here, but yep, drop your name in the comments, so that way I can give you a shout out. If you are watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. And if you get value from these or any of my videos, please feel free to like, comment, and share with those that you know. All right, so what are you worth? So you know what? I'm going to take you to church for a minute um, because this is important. At least it is to me. So um, when I was talking about worth and I was like, well, how can we, um, how can I tie this into my message for today? And I found Romans chapter eight, verses 28. And it says, and we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. So if you're watching this video your purpose is you want to build a business online. You either have a network or affiliate marketing business, or you have your own product that you want to learn how to market online. And if God gave you the vision, then he's going to give you the way. But you have to take those steps to get to see your vision come to, come to fruition. That's it and that's all. You got to take steps and you got to take action. And part of that is knowing your worth. Well, what gives you worth? Knowledge gives you worth. So if you are in this home business space and you are not putting in investment into yourself to learn what it is that you don't know, well, you're not going to be worth very much in the marketplace. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Think about it. How much is a high school diploma worth when you go looking for a job versus an MBA? I'll tell you, the difference is in the tens of thousands. And I know this for a fact because I've hired people at the high school level and I've been hired myself at the MBA level. So I know the difference. Understand that. You know what? I always forget to share this on my page. I'm such a goober. But yeah, so knowledge gives you value, which gives you worth. So if you don't know what you don't know, then you need to go out and get it. And as I said in my message, I think on Thursday, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't go out there and think you're going to Google it and YouTube it and figure it out for yourself. You need to get hooked up with the system. Why? Because a system will save you stress, time, energy, and money. So you can spend six, eight months trying to figure it out on your own, or you can spend 30 days learning from somebody like myself or my team who has already done the darn thing. And we are seeing results and getting success. I mean, that's it. You know, why would you go ahead and do something on your own when there's tools and mechanisms and systems in place for you to learn from others? 
All right, so if you are wondering why people are telling you no, there are four reasons why people tell you no. The reason number one is they don't know, like, or trust you. Spamming people, oh gosh, it drives me nuts. By spamming, I mean everything about your business is on your page, sending friend requests to people you know you're not trying to be friends with, asking people, um, hey, can I show you something? And it's another pitch for something without even knowing if they're interested or even worthy of being on your team. Um, that's all the wrong way. Just don't do it. Because actually what that does is you're leaving a bad taste in people's mouth and it's giving you a bad reputation, okay? So that's the number one reason why people tell you no. They don't know, like, or trust you. Number two, in their head, in their mind, they don't think you can help them. So let me give you an example. I have a friend and she is a doll. I love her to death and she works from home. She's in the medical field. I think I talked about this in another video. But instead of jumping on board with me and letting me teach her the things that I'm doing to build my business, instead, she goes out and gets a second job. I think I did a post on this a couple of weeks ago. It amazes me how people will start a second job but won't start a first business. I don't know about you, but I don't need two bosses, okay? I don't need one boss right now, but for the right opportunity, I'll take one. <laughs> and it's got to be the right professional opportunity. Let me just say that. But yeah, how many people will start a second job but won't start a first business? And let's think about the cost of a second job. So if you work eight hours a day, we're going to use my friend as an example. She works from home. So she puts in her eight hours at home. And then she puts in another five hours, four days a week at a location outside of her home. So now she's got travel time, time is money. She's got the cost of gas. She's there five hours a day, four days a week, which is taking time away from her family. Um, who wants all that? If you do, more power to you. If you don't, um, then you need to find something else to do and I can help you with that. But the reason why she does that is because in her mind, she doesn't see herself as being able to do what I do. It's easier for her and a lot of other people to see themselves reporting to a job versus creating their own job for themselves. That's number two in their head. They don't think we can help them. Number three, they're not committed. And that's a big one. And it trips me out. People will commit to a job because they know they're going to get a regular paycheck. They will commit to sh um, showing up <laughs> when they're supposed to be there, taking a break when they're told they can take a break, leaving when they're allowed to leave, and then put that on repeat five days a week. And in my friend's case, she does it twice for two different jobs. So people will commit to a job because it's a regular paycheck, but they will not commit to themselves because it goes back to number two. In their head, they don't think that you can help them, which leads into number four. Number four is they just don't believe in themselves. So I was out shopping the other day and I found this. I hope you can see it. So this is my new little thing that I'm gonna put on my wall. Live by choice, not by chance. Be motivated, not manipulated. Make changes, not excuses. Be useful, not used. Be selfless, not selfish. Excel in life and don't compete. We are not in competition with anyone but the person we were yesterday. Listen to yourself, not others, and do something amazing. So I got to get some more posted, hang them, 3M, hang them strips to put on the wall, and then I'll get that one up there. But I thought that was so cool. So I hope that message resonates with you. But most importantly, in order to know your worth, you have to be able to provide value. I don't know you're probably sick of hearing us provide value stuff, but I'm going to tell you, providing value puts you in a place where people are attracted to you. And that's what we want to do. We want people to be attracted to us. So let me tell you how attraction marketing has worked for me. Now, I've been doing this little thing here since August of 2016. January 2017, I started doing videos. January of 2018, I started my personal coaching programs. And in the midst of all of that, let me tell you some of the things that have been attracted to me. Clients, first and foremost, because I'm able to coach others to do what I do. Secondly, opportunities have been attracted to me. Just next week, well, actually starting tomorrow, I got three professional events that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I got a vendor event Sunday um, here in my area that I was asked to participate in in the table 
uh, is free or the area, the booth or whatever, that is free. Like how many times have you been invited to participate in a vendor event for free? If never, think about it. What are you attracting? What value are you providing? How do people get to know, like, and trust you? The second thing that I've been invited to, which is super cool, and if you're in the Dayton area on Wednesday between 5 and 7, um, scroll down my page and you'll see it, the address and location. I might put it in the comments here. But um, the second thing that I've been invited to is a pitch event, P-I-T-C-H. Ten teams have been invited to pitch their business and they can win a prize. Two, there's gonna be a number one and a number two prize. I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but um, I'm gonna, I've been invited. <laughs> I've been invited to pitch my business, real talk, okay? Now, out of all the people who might have, um, excuse me, <clears throat> seen that same Eventbrite event that I saw, you had to apply because only 10 people are allowed to give their pitch. So not only did I apply, but I've been chosen. And on Monday, one of the gentlemen that is part of the event is going to help me with my pitch. So today I went and typed up my blueprint, my outline. It's like eight minutes, and then there's four minutes worth of questions afterwards. But Monday, I get to meet with him for him to go over my outline to tutor me on this event. And of the 10 people or teams that present, only two people are eligible for prizes, the number one prize and number two prize. So I'm praying to come out number one. I mean, but once again, had people not gotten to know, like, and trust me, if I wasn't providing value, this thing would not have been attracted to me. You attract that which you want when you have the right mindset. And the third thing that I've got going on next week, once again, if you're in the Dayton, Ohio area, is Social Media Day Dayton. Now, I was a part of that event last year, but I was a spectator. This year, I'm actually part of the event. Go figure, right? So when you put those vibes in the atmosphere, in the universe of what it is that you want, God will open that up to you. And the other thing that is important, and this comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. So this leads into my closing. Hang in here. I'm just almost done. Two people are better than one because they can help each other succeed. I could not have done any of what I'm doing right now doing these videos, running my coaching business, getting invited to these amazing events if I didn't get help from someone else. So I'm going to tell you how to get some help because once again, nobody does it alone and it's best not to. Why? Because like Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine says, two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. And that's what we're talking about here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and post this link in the comments. And you guys know I've been on an attraction marketing kick here the last couple of days. And the reason why is because attraction marketing changed my whole life because I am attracting people to me that want to move in the same direction that I am going. So if you want to get this started, you need to get the attraction marketing ebook. Why do you need this ebook? Because it teaches you what attraction marketing is. It tells you how to use attraction marketing for your business. You'll be part of a team or a tribe of people that are doing the same thing you are doing. You will get a coach, three 15 minute coaching sessions with bona fide six figure earners plus you get my support because you are on my team and you get training and access to our private Facebook group. You will learn how to build a Facebook ad and then read the metrics. You will learn how to have a millionaire mindset. You will learn the 17 ways rich people think differently from poor people. All those things come to you as a result of getting the attraction marketing ebook. And that's the whole thing. If you don't have anything of value to share in the business world, you are not worth a whole lot. That's it. And that's all. I'm sorry. I hate to be blunt, but that's what it is. So if you want to start being worthy, if you want to be someone who knows their worth in this online marketing space, you got to get the skills. That's it. And that's all. And it's really simple. And the commitment is less than $30. So this link that I put here, when you click on it, you have an hour.
power to make a less than $30 decision. And that's the other thing. If you don't think that you're worth less than $30 to improve yourself and improve your business and build a business learning how to use this online space correctly, nobody else is gonna think you're worth it either. I mean, think about it. If you're not gonna spend $30 on yourself, how can you expect to ask somebody to spend $30 with you okay that's what i'm saying so i hope you got that let me say it again if you don't think you're worth 30 dollars for yourself how can you expect someone to spend 30 dollars with you and it all starts with getting a valuable education to teach you how to use this online space correctly all right so i'm gonna shut it down i appreciate your time click the link that is pinned to the top of this video i'm not sure what happens to it when i shut it down but um i mean the video i mean not shut the link down but remember you have one hour to spend thirty dollars to get the value to make yourself worthy to other people in this online business space i'm cecilia morris your engineer by education home business owner by desire i appreciate your time if you got value please like comment and share with others and if you want to know how to get where i am then you need to start with the attraction marketing ebook that's where i started in august of 2016 i made my first sale in seven days and i never even talked to that person i got 104 new leads in 60 days and i was still learning okay and this can very well happen to you as i mentioned you'll get three 15-minute coaching sessions with bona fide six-figure earners you'll get a 12-module training program and access to our private facebook group for coaching and counseling and then of course you get access to me i mean come on people let's do this i hope you enjoyed this presentation today and i will see you on the next video